Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be doing a Uncharted 3 uh, beta commentary. Now this game is pretty fun. Uh, so far I've actually kind of liked it better than Call of Duty. And yes, I did say that. Um, the original, Uncharted 2, and I had the original. I got platinum for the original, only like 30% trophies for the second one. But uh... As you see here, these are actually the people, and then you start out in this area. Um, this game is really fun. You see I die right here by a grenade. Now, grenades are really effective in this game, obviously. As you see, I died right there. Um, but yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But this game has been really fun. This was before all the updates, so pretty much uh, I couldn't join anybody. And this is like the best I could get, pretty much. Like, uh, the best I could do. Uh, it was a little laggy, not much. I don't really know what I just said back there, but whatever. Um, my system did later freeze after playing a while, and uh, I'm trying to join another game with my friend. And you see right here, power weapons, and there are perks, kind of, in this game. Like, that perk lets you see the power weapons um, if they're a certain distance away from you. There's other perks that do other things. I'm not going to... Uh, I am not going to name them at this second. But, uh, and you also have these things called setbacks. Well, instead of, they're like kill streaks from Call of Duty. Cause you'll, you'll see me get one later. Like, uh, you get, that's how you get an RPG in this game. Uh, I think you could pick them up after somebody dies, but I'm not sure. And as you see, I'm using a Magnum, which is a power weapon. And your custom classes, you can customize, like, a bunch of different stuff about your weapon. Now, the power weapons, obviously, like, see, he's using RPG on me. But, uh, Power weapons, obviously. This is where it kind of messes up. I don't know what I did there, but um. Anyway, now the thing is, the power weapons you have to find, all right. But your custom classes consist of normal guns, like you know how you have your M4, which isn't actually in the beta, but you have the this thing is called the uh, oh, I cannot remember the name. It's pretty much the foul. It's like the g -mole, I think it's called. Sorry if it's close to my face. It's called the g -mole, I'm pretty sure. And these are power plays where it kind of gives uh, the team that's winning a disadvantage and the team that's not winning advantage. But if you win and you're the uh, opposing, like you're the team that this, the power play is against, it pretty much helps you. But it kind of gives the uh, opportunity for the losing team. So, we're trying to get the... See, I throw a grenade there. I always press the wrong button to reload and stuff. But anyway, like I was saying, the classes. The classes are, um, regular guns. The three guns you can use at the beginning are the Dragon Sniper, the g -Mole, and, uh, the AK-47. You can also unlock the M9. And, um, that's about it. I think there might be two pistols. I think there's the the uh, one pistol, uh, the automatic pistol, and also there's riot shields, but I don't think there are online like this, but there is in the co-op. Now, they did say that they're going to add a new co-op mode, and they're also going to add another map. There are two maps up now, and they're both really good, but it does get boring after a while on this one. But this game so far has been extremely fun. And also, um, you can add attachments to your weapons, but you unlock them at certain levels. Kind of like Call of Duty. It's kind of like Call of Duty, but better in my opinion. Sorry about that. And also, um, I think this is going to be a really, a really com a big competitor of a game called Gears of War 3, obviously. A lot of people know what that is. It's an Xbox exclusive third person shooter. Um, it's an excellent game, but honestly, so far, I've never played Gears of War 3, but people say it's good, uh, from the beta. I played Gears of War 2 before, um, and it's fun, honestly, it's a good game. Gears of War 3 looks pretty amazing, too, but honestly, I think that so far, that Uncharted to me is better. It's not really the same thing as, uh, Gears of War, but it's pretty much, uh, comparison. You can't really compare Uncharted to... Um, Call of Duty. Now, what I'm really hoping is the campaign is actually very 
in depth like the other two and really good because that's where Uncharted's really shined, especially since the first game didn't have multiplayer. The second one's multiplayer was eh. But this one is pretty good. I mean, I'm not saying that Uncharted 2 multiplayer was bad. It was actually pretty good, but not, not as good as I don't think this is. So, and you get medals to get your setbacks, or kill streaks as you could call them. Um, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, but medals, but you don't Ha like, medals don't reset if you die, so it's not as hard. And they're not like big kill streaks where, oh, you get like this huge air striker or anything like that. They're just little things. Like, some ones, if you get a certain amount of medals, you get to run faster and a bunch of other stuff. Um, now, obviously, not all the weapons. As you see here, I pick up the bull action sniper, which is always a one hit kill, almost no matter what. Anyway, um,. Now, this is like my favorite weapon. I don't know. I'm in the theater mode, so this with the Magnum is pretty much the beastliest, beastly combo you can have. And you see, I do my taunt there. And there's even a perk um, that lets you uh, pick up ammo if you taunt over your dead body. Your, uh, Body. Now, I don't think it shows the scope for some reason. Uh, don't ask me why. And you see me use my setback there. And I think I kill like one person and die. I'm not really sure. Here we go. Yeah, and then I get killed. But, um, there's also... Per this game, you can't really compare it to Call of Duty like I was saying. Now... You can compare it to other games, kind of, like Gears of War 3, because they're both third-person shooters. Can you compare it to uh, Resident Evil? Not really, because it's different. It's not the same. But, uh, like I was saying, I hope that the uh, single player is just as good as the multiplayer, if not better. Because the single player has always been awesome. And right there, you can, uh, you know, high-five over somebody's dead body if you get an assist with them. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> this game seems very fun. I would definitely download the beta, especially since it's free. Now, um, honestly, this beta has already convinced me to buy the game because not only has Uncharted always been good in story, it has been amazing story-wise. Um, that was pretty much the reason. That's the whole reason I bought number two. I wasn't even... I knew there was going to be some type of multiplayer, but I wasn't even sure what type, really. So... Yeah. Anyway, um. Power play in. Yeah. So I give this beta the the only pro, the only cons, uh, is sometimes it's hard to find games and stuff. But not anymore now that they let out the things. I don't really have any other cons. I mean, the game seems pretty much flawless. I mean, there are certain flaws. You see that guy like get behind like that? It's crazy. Anyway, so I rate this a five out of five or a ten out of ten. I'll go ten. Uh, it is my favorite beta I've ever played, so I would say go out there and play this. This is just amazingly fun, especially for a beta. And the co-op is, like, surprisingly good. So, uh, you see us win here in a second. And it has these cool scenes where it actually shows the character. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can see my final score is... 13 and 8 which is not too good but it's not too bad um so thank you guys for watching uh please rate comment subscribe and uh that's about it also check out black productions